Good morning world from Shargao Island. We are on our way to Mugpapunku Rock Pools, one of the most beautiful places here on the island. Story is taking her cousin Devon down to the rock pools. You're going to show Devon the rock pools today? Yeah. You excited Devon? Yeah. We're on an adventure. We've got the full spectrum of family today. We've got Popwa who's 75 years old, all the way down to cousin Devon who is four and a half. If this is the first video of ours you've ever seen, welcome. We're a British family that moved to the Philippines three years ago after the COVID pandemic locked us down here and we decided we wanted to make a life here. We absolutely love Shargao. It is in the northeastern part of Mindanao, which is next to the Philippines deep and creates an amazing set of waves for surfing which is what it's famous for around here but I don't actually surf even though I've got the long hair and the dark skin but what I do like is the rock pools this is one of my favorite places here in the Philippines and I'm excited to show my family we waited for low tide it is overcast today so it's cooler but I can feel a bit of rain in the air in the morning all of this is just sea up to the wall so you have to wait for proper low tide before you can actually make this crossing our house where we live is literally right there. So we're very local to this attraction, but we don't come here that often, maybe two, three times a year. So I'm really excited to go back there. We have heard though that now that tourism is back, it's super busy. Yeah, look, uh, that one will win. And then I saw one in a pond before. Wow, okay. I am talking to my cousin who is called Devon. He is, yeah. introduce yourself. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay, that is my cousin though. He is only four, he's like four right now. And this is his first time in the Philippines. He is quite excited to be. And my, and my sister. Yeah, and, and his sister, Leone. You probably know them from our other vlogs. But, <laughs> I'm sorry, but you probably can't hear him. He's going a bit far away from the camera, but Leone, who is my cousin, and Devon is having their first adventure in the Philippines, which is quite cool. I think they're very excited. But here's Devon just splashing in the puddles over there. Now just walking there, guys. Um, Devon, can you be a bit more careful? <laughs> With the rocks, there's lots of moss now. Lots of this moss is quite slippery on this, these rocks. And I also need to, you also need to be careful, Devon, about the sea urchins. See, the sea urchins are lurking in this pool somewhere. <laughs> no, I think about sharks. I know you gotta have sharks in your pool. Sharks? <laughs> Oh no, no. there's no yes. sharks, Devon. Also, there's no Spider-Man here. <laughs> I know. <laughs> you know there's no Spider-Man. Okay, I'm sorry, you can't really hear him because he's just four. Hey, Devon, yeah? do you know how to introduce yourself? No. No? <laughs> okay. Uh, so, have you had a fun, are you having a fun time in the Philippines? Yeah. You're having a fun time in the Philippines? That's good. Yeah. I didn't know, I know your house though, I watch it on TV. <laughs> <laughs> of course you do. All, almost all of our friends and family watches us. We didn't know, didn't know we watch us on viewed sometimes. Yeah. I know, but he keeps calling me Go for some reason. <laughs> I'm not, I don't want to call you Go, I want to call you Devon. I'm Okay, you're calling me Dory then. Dory. You, you can call me Dory. No, just keep not swimming, Dory. just keep swimming. Dory. <laughs> it's Dory, yeah. It's Dory, not Dory. It's Dory. Making a big splash, isn't it? Story's all ready to get in. Go for it, Story. Wow, cool. Is the water cold or warm? Is it? You made it, Papa. Oh my goodness. <laughs> With a lot of effort. Yeah. You made it. You made it. Well done. Is it? 
We brought you here. We didn't book it. We just live here, don't we? Yeah, it's Uncle Jay's flying the drone. This is so cool that we have brought our family to our rock pool. This is something that we've been talking about for so long and it's finally happened. We're here, we're all in, we're all having fun. Even Papa made the journey from the house <laughs> to the rock pool. Absolutely lovely. It's quite a good day for it as well. It's not bright sunshine, so it's nice and um, manageable. Really, really happy. I'm gonna get in now and have some fun. Yeah, it's called a brittle star. But it's got a, it's got black and white stripes. Yeah, these ones are called brittle stars. They're a type of starfish. Are you having fun in the pool? <laughs> Cave explorer story. Yeah, come here. Oh my gosh, there's a plenty in there. What is there? Oh yeah. We've moved over to the deeper pool. And it's actually been quite nice having the weather like this. <laughs> Kids are having fun. Devon has said multiple times this is the best family day. It's easy, yeah? Or are you saying seaweed? Just yeah. standing on seaweed? Yeah. Feels nice, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Shell, you got in the I've water. Got, I've got delicate feet. Can you swim? A little bit. Have you been taking lessons? Not lessons. I can swim when it's in. I know I can touch the floor. Okay. So you can't swim then? <laughs> you can stand in the water. Basically, I can swim, but if I can't touch the floor, I'm drowning. You panic, right? Sasha, you've experienced that, haven't you? Yeah, Sasha has been. <laughs> Sunk before. <laughs> Some lads throwing rocks in the water. <laughs> I've convinced Papa to come into the water. Now we're all in the water together. It's okay, it's wading depth here. You don't have to show here. It's okay because the sea is actually not part of this at the moment, it's completely separate from it. <laughs> yeah, look, they're all in. With her two boys. Yeah, there's two brothers to support you now. Ready? There you go. <laughs> you read it. It's quite warm as well, actually. <laughs> We're just gradually floating our way over. <laughs> Cam's having the full meditation experience. This feels incredible doing this. Zero effort. You just feel the little raindrops dripping down 
that reflected water. The kids are loving this. See, look at them, look at them, they're all there now. Yeah, oh, they're going to see it over there. I wonder if someone bought it. Should we go right down? Let's go. Let's swim together. That's cool, isn't it? I don't think we've ever been under this bit. It's my first time coming under here, Debbie. Yeah. yeah. I'm getting really misty, though. I did dream of it. Thank you for showing me this secret cave. Should we yeah. see what's under the water? Let's do it. Well done, sorry. What have you found in here? The secret cave. This is incredible, isn't it? It's so nice. There's so many fish in here as well. It's really cool to see them all. Where are they? They're all that way. Oh, under the water? Yeah. Well, while you're exploring the cave, <laughs> obviously they're under the water, but I thought you meant like that way. Okay, let me go under here. Oh yeah, cool. Yeah, this little entry hole. We're now at the deepest of the rock pools. We are hungry now, though, so we're going to head over this way to get some food. Amazing, look at that. 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 Look I think. No you swam all the way to the other side. Yeah. Right, we're at the food zone now. You jump out over here, let's go get something to eat. Every time we come back to these rock pools, I feel like we discover something new. Today, we found two new underwater sections that we've never been to before. It's absolutely incredible to be down here with the family, using all of this underwater equipment, the masks, so you can really see what's going on under the water. It completely opens up a whole new world down there. I actually laid eyes on a eel for the first time and I tried to chase it a little bit, tried to get a close up of it, but I wasn't sure what type of eel it was or whether it was a biter. <laughs> anyway, I tried to get some shots. I brought Story over to see it too. Uncle Cam caught a glimpse of it as well. It's just been absolutely amazing to get the guys out straight away and into the water, under the water, in such a beautiful place that we've been able to call home for the last three years. And now 
We've all come here together. We've really got to share one of our favorite places in the Philippines, and that is incredible. Before the family got here, I said to Sasha, I want to hit the ground running. I want to do something nice straight away. And we weren't sure if the weather was going to be good enough for this little outing, but it actually turned out to be perfect. This overcast day was just right. I even managed to get the drone up in the air to get loads and loads of aerial footage of what this place looks like, even on a cloudy day. And it's incredible. It doesn't matter whether the sun's out or not, it's still incredible. It definitely changes the colors, but it's got its own form of magic. And this is the first time as well I've managed to see so much underwater life in the rock pools. Last few times we came here, I didn't see too many animals and fish under the water, but I feel like today was a different story. What perfect conditions to bring our family here for the first day experiencing the Philippines like this. We're now all soaking wet, but we're drying off slowly and we've come up to the restaurants here to get some food. We just made a big order. There's a couple of sweet doggies walking around that resemble Poppy. So this might be part of Poppy's family. We'll never know. This is the restaurant we've chosen today. Pinglet grilled seafoods. They had quite a lot of vegetable options on the menu for us. This is today's view for lunch. Oh, so open there. Are you trying some local Filipino food? Yeah, this is the suman. Have you ever seen one before? Nope, never. Shall I open the whole thing? Yeah, open up the end of it like a popsicle. In a way, you'll see some sticky rice oh, in there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's been squashed together in a banana leaf. What do you think? Hmm, not bad. It's like rice with like a kind of sweet coconut milk. Yeah. Is it sweet? Yeah, very sweet. What were you expecting when you tasted it? Had no idea. I was about to eat the leaf. <laughs> <laughs> Dive in. You think we thought it was a wrap? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Lee, can we try a little bit? Sticky rice. It's nice. Want to try? Not bad, is it? Do you want to try a bit? Rice pudding feels weird. Yeah, I said that. It tastes a bit like Filipino rice pudding. She's loving the seaweed. Oh, this is Story's favourite. Yeah, you only smash through a pack. Yes, Story just literally inhales those things. Uncle Cam's digging into his first pork adobo. Is that the pork adobo? Mm. Has it got bones in it? I just found one. <laughs> <laughs> I've never ordered anything like that, Where's so I don't know what it's nice, though. That's a bone. There's a bone here, look. Look at Tori's face. Is that a tooth? <laughs> yeah. I didn't think there'd be a bone in such a small piece of meat. Yeah. <laughs> finished our meal. The total bill was 3,500 pesos and we are walking back down to pick up the kids. They've gone back in the sea. We've got beautiful sunshine now. We weren't expecting that. Just trying to get the kids out of the sea now. This might prove more difficult than it sounds. Story with her cousins in the ocean in the Philippines. It happened. It's happening right now. This is so strange for me. It's almost like a dream coming true. It's been so long thinking about it. It's kind of like we never thought it would actually happen. And now here we are, a moment right now. Look at this incredible scenery. So cool to think this is like 10 minutes walk from our house. Uncle Cam, super parent duty, bringing all the kids back in, rounding them up. <laughs> like they're wild animals. I'm the leader. What a beautiful afternoon that was. Absolutely Super fantastic. enjoyable. Yeah. yeah. And we are going back home the roadway now because the tide has come in, so we can't pass through the beachway now without having to swim home. <laughs> <laughs> so we are doing the full loop today of Mokopunki. Really, really lovely. I think the whole family enjoyed it. Definitely. Had a nice lunch and yeah, kids really enjoyed it. Lovely to see the kids playing together. It was nice to hear Devon say, this is the best family day ever. Yes, definitely. Like, yeah. Those yeah. kind of unscripted moments, <laughs> you can't predict it. When we were swimming, I heard Devon say, you're the best family member. Oh, oh that's okay. nice. That's really yeah. nice of you to say. And right now, Story is leading us home, aren't you? Yeah, I'm the leader. You are the leader. I'm my Alexa map. <laughs> Very quiet road. Yeah. The rest of the family opted to get a tuk-tuk back to the house for the short walk because the kids' feet were hurting. So I think they're going to beat us home now, but we won't be far behind them. 
we're going to do this shout out for today and today's shout out goes to Annette Woo, hi Annette thank you for becoming a member of our channel it means a lot to us and you get access to the weekend vlog sometimes you also get shout out possibilities and members only posts so if you're interested in becoming a member yourself join button underneath the video maybe see you there and we will see you in the next one bye, bye.